Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today we're gonna to tie a really simple deceiver style pike fly. It's got a tall head profile built with laser dub. We're using bucktail, flashaboo, more bucktail, and some ripple ice fiber. And this is a really good, simple, single hook fly that you can throw with an eight weight. You don't need a huge rod for this. Grab some bucktail. This is an amber color. Um, this is kind of, I've been calling this limeade color because we got the light chartreuse and then the kind of Highlander green here, but it's also green and gold. Really functional pattern. That's what we were catching a lot of hammer handles on the other day. Now for the fun part, we're gonna grab a pile of flashaboo. Start with gold. This, everyone should have standard gold flashaboo. Grab about eight strands. We're gonna do a little bit of flashaboo blending. I'm gonna walk you through that. I'm only gonna grab about eight strands. We're gonna double this all back over. I'm just setting it on my mat down here. This is speckled gold. Another eight, maybe six. And I'm not taking the time to count them. Don't worry about that. This is pearl dyed yellow. And you can very much do this, this fly with one color flash wheel. It's not gonna make, you know, the difference is to you. If you feel more confident doing this, I think it looks way better in the water. It looks more natural. Um, and it's kind of fun to do. And then holographic, we'll probably grab at least 10 of. Maybe a little bit less than that. Sorry, I'll stick it in my fingers. Okay. And we're also gonna add a little bit of polar flash. This is the Mirage. Mirage is wonderful. I add it just about to everything because it captures the colors behind it. And this polar flash is twisted, so it captures light in a different way as well. So that's gonna give a little bit more dimension to your flash. All right, you're gonna end up with a pile that looks a lot like this. Another good reason to have a comb. We're gonna kind of comb it and blend it together. And when I say blend it, really you're just mixing it up so they're not clumped. All the gold, all the mirage, and I'm just flipping sides back and forth. Roughly. It's important to grab some strands and pull. And what we're gonna do is, this is gonna create a taper. We can still tie right in in the middle. But the flash is gonna look much more natural. It's gonna follow a natural taper. All right, make sure your thread's ready. I leave a little bit of space here because I wanna wrap back on the flash. That helps it stay really secure. You could tie it in right there, but you're only gonna get stacked um, thread wraps. And that's really, you can do better, especially for pike. Okay, we're gonna lay that on top, transfer hands.
right, I'm gonna show you the original version here. Now, if I break this open, you can see, really from here, I just wrapped UV polar chenille, and that works wonderful. It makes for a really quick fly. Um, but I wanted to do something a little bit different. And we have a lot more shank length to deal with here in this four eye hook. So I'm gonna advance my thread up a little bit. I'm gonna grab some ripple ice fiber. If you haven't played with this stuff yet, it's a lot of fun. Way better than ice wing that we used to have all bunch up. This stuff is kind of crinkle cut. We're gonna start with a pearl yellow. We're gonna transition from everything being kind of a yellow color right on over to chartreuse. This is a fluorescent chartreuse cocktail. We know it's fluorescent, fluorescent. Hit it with the UV light, it reacts. All right, again, we're working third of the way up with the bucktail. So I want the very tips of this to match about halfway back of that bucktail. So you're not end up you're not using a whole lot, but this serves as a color change and a support for the head material, that laser dub. We're gonna go back to ripple ice fiber, but we're gonna use a fluorescent chartreuse and a fluorescent yellow on top of this bucktail. And you do not need a lot again.
gonna build ahead. Using laser dub. If you have not used laser dub before, it's really easy. Uh, we're just gonna use uh, kind of this regular old green on top. We're gonna use chartreuse on the bottom. What I'm doing here is aligning all the fibers. Make sure you do this, otherwise half of it's gonna get combed out immediately. I'll set that down on top. We said we tie it in the middle here. You can get fancy, you can do 60, 40, whatever you're into, but simple is always better. Okay. Experiment with a lot of glues over the past few years, and Z Epoxy 5 Men is probably still my favorite. But right now, I'm working with Liquid Fusion. Uh, this is a really big bottle, but I've been tying a lot of flies. So, we're going to be pretty generous with this. The downside with Liquid Fusion is a much longer curing time. Uh, 5 Men Z Epoxy is like it sounds, it's about five minutes. Um, you know, if you really want to be secure about it, let it dry overnight. This is a must dry overnight glue, which is why I tied another fly ahead of time. Okay, I'm gonna try and do this so you can see it. Pretty generous. You don't want to go too overboard. But that's just about right. And you have a lot of working time with this. We're just going to use some kind of some glittery gator eyes here that go great with this color scheme. I'm going to do one side, make sure everything looks good over here. Add another dollop right in the middle of this head. Now you sometimes get some fibers that make life it's difficult but that's going to be fine and a great way to do this is just set it right on the glue grab your bodkin and set it in from there with the bodkin that way you don't get glue on your fingers okay what we 
what I really like about this stuff is it actually, you know, with five minute epoxy, I have to cinch those eyes in. I even have a whole pile of clothespins that I've been using to do that. This stuff kind of cinches things in as it dries on its own. So you can kind of set them where you want. You have tons of time to do that. And then you let it dry and it will kind of act like shrink wrap and just suction in those eyes right to the head. So, awesome.